How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Soulful Strut as recorded by Young Holt Unlimited on guitar. This song has got such a great vibe to it and an incredible feel and it's one of those songs that you're going to really want to practice with the recording and play along with just to kind of internalize the feel and just general groove of the song. In this lesson, we're gonna break down the intro chord progression, then we're gonna go into a two chord funk groove that's just what I call a one and a five sort of sound. Then we're gonna learn a line based off of the pentatonic scale, and we're also gonna play a little interlude section that comes later in the song. And with all of that, you'll be able to play the entire song from top to bottom. But before we get into it, I really appreciate you checking out the links below. I've got some really great resources. If you're interested in learning more about lead guitar playing, I've got a free PDF book that's got over a hundred licks and exercises in it that you can download at the link below, as well as a lot of other great resources on my website, johnmclennan.com. All right, well, with that said, let's dive into today's lesson. Let's break down how to play Soulful Strut as recorded by Young Holt Unlimited. This is a jam, my friends, and we're gonna break down just a few different chord shapes here and a lot of funky grooves. So we're gonna start with the intro that sounds like this. Three, four. So we've got a few chords here, a B flat major seven. This is our first shape here, and you could play this on the top four strings if you want, just one finger per fret, starting at the fifth fret. Or you could add the thumb with it as well, like I'm playing here. Then we're gonna go to C minor seven on the third fret. This is three, five, three, four, three. Just a standard minor seven bar chord. Then we're gonna move up to E flat major seven. And this is six, eight, seven, eight, six. And the rhythm is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and we'll build in just kind of staccato eighth notes one and two and three and four and then repeat and then the horn melody comes in and we've got this awesome groove that uses just two chords it's a two chord funky groove here that sounds like this So we're gonna play two chords and groove on that, and then we're gonna play a little line that you saw I played there that started like this. For the two chords, I'm playing that B flat major seven again. And then I'm moving up to this shape here, which the bass player is playing an F, so it ends up being an F11 chord. And you can add that bass note if you want, like if you're playing. You could do something like that if you're just playing this by yourself. If you're playing with a band, a lot of times I'll leave off those root notes or those lower bass strings because I'll typically be playing with a bass player and I want to stay out of their way. So this is just the top four strings. Again, top four strings here, top four strings. So that's going to sound like this. One and two e and a three e and a four e and a. So you'll notice that I'm doing a lot of muting. One, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Then the next chord. One and two e and a three e and a four e and a one and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. 
Then we come out of this funky groove to a line where the whole band goes. Then we're back into the groove for the solo sections. So here I'm walking up a B flat major pentatonic scale, but I'm starting on the fifth scale degree. So that note is F there, it's the eighth fret on the A string. And I'm gonna go from eight to the next string down to five, eight, five, seven, then back to five. So it walks all the way up the scale. When you get to this note, you come back one. Then we do the same thing again. This time, instead of coming back one note, we go one note further in the scale, up to the sixth fret on the second string. So that's the second part of the lick. So the first part is second part. Then we're back to our groove. Two chords. Now there is one other section that sort of is a little segue or a little interlude progression in between the solos that sounds like this. And this is a B flat major seven right on the downbeat. So most of the time the rhythm has been starting on the and a one, like one and two, three and a three e and a four e for the funky pattern. But then we go one and two and three and four. And that's a B flat, you can play a major seven to an E flat major seven on the and of two like this. One and two and three and four and, then we'll do that F11 shape. This time I'm gonna include the A string and build in and just eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. So that sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two. Back to the two chord groove. So I'm gonna play the two chord groove and then we're gonna to go to this little interlude and then back to the two chord groove like this. One, two, three, four. Interlude. Groove. Line. Have fun practicing soulful strut. Remember to go and play it along with the recording next. You just wanna go over and over with the song and try and internalize that feel and that great 16th note rhythm. Before you go, don't forget to download your free book all about soloing. You can also get some free blues training videos at the link below as well if you're interested in improving your blues guitar playing. Check that out as well. As always, leave any comments for song requests down below. I'm constantly going to the comments for future video ideas, so let me know what you'd like to see on the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.